What is up, guys? Sorry, I'm back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today, before, but actually, screw that. Before I start the review, I'm in my new place, and as you can tell, my wall is different. You know, it's a different color, and everything. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a new change. Eventually, I'll have this whole set up a little bit better, but for right now, this is what it is. And uh, yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm happy to have a new place, man. A, a, a stuff to, as I told my girlfriend, I got a place to put my shit. And an awesome, and, and, and then what we all want, guys, a place just to put our shit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's, let's let's get on with the reason why you're here. And I, I also I apologize for this review just not coming out. I know Soundwave been out for a minute, and I know in the past I've always reviewed the older figures anyway. But I've had this guy for a while now, and um. During this whole move and transition shit, I just hasn't, I haven't had a chance to get to him. But let's go now. So, where was I? Transformers, Siege, Wolf of Cybertron, Soundwave. And this is his box. Got some good artwork there. Let me put this camera up a little bit. There we go. And there's the artwork there. And like I said, before, I'm really proud of these Siege figures for stepping up the game, you know, being a whole lot better. In the back of the box, where you can see his transformation, he's got 25 steps. Uh, his transformation is ass, by the way. I, I, I don't like the alt mode, but the robot mode, I'll get to later. Uh, here's the cassettes, which I desperately want that laser beak. Uh, Battle Master, him holding the Battle Master. And let's get that out of the way over here. And here's his instructions. Uh, all pretty good stuff. Honestly, I transform this thing without any instructions at all. So, it's not that hard. And yes, everyone, I do know about his secret lamp post mode. Um, it's not in instructions, but it's simple to get to, too. Let's point that out there. There's instructions there. And um, on the back here, you know, they show, they show some of the stats, like... Uh, his high cap concussion blaster and his LRHD, uh, his EMXT, just his levels on the guns and the weapons he has. So, if you're interested in any of this, feel free to pause it and take a look at it and read it. All right, now let's talk about some of his accessories first. And here, well, I'll start this one first. Uh, as far as this one goes, it's just a single cast piece of plastic with a, well, a little hinge here so you can open it. And uh, this is very unique to just this toy in the cartoons or comics. Although, uh, I think these guys are based on a new IW run of comics going to come out. Uh, this is a gun I'm not used to. But I do kind of like it in terms of keeping it like this. You can unfold it. And you get this. And his other two accessories on my show can snap onto that. It looks silly. <laughs> Just gonna get it out there. And here's the here's the gun I really like. This is a traditional gun here. Um, it, uh, in old in the, on the older um, MPs, I believe this, I believe this gun comes like a battery pack form uh, for the boombox mode. So yeah, here's that. It's a uh, got some nice red trim here. I think the rest of it is uh, plastic, like blue plastic and the unpainted gray here. But it does have red trim, so it's some pretty good detail, as you can kind of see. So that's good. It also, it then also compresses down for his, uh, right there, before we can go into his alt mode. So, yeah, let's pull that right out. And uh, for his other accessory, which is, well, let, me, let me pull it off of him. All right. There we go. Here we go. Here's, here's that. It's very similar to this one, but um, it has no barrel. But what you do have is a little, it's like maybe a, perhaps a micro missile launcher, or it fires some type of small arms missile or something. And yeah, it's the same way. Uh, uh, blue plastic with a little bit of a, like a faded red trim here. And for the handle, just a piece of plastic, but it does have a, a level of molded detail. Now back to this right here. Um, I've actually never done this before. I've seen other people do it and from what I saw it looked really silly but I believe it plugs into one end plugs into here I believe and uh, this end goes into here somehow. 
Let's see. There we go. And yeah, you 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 get this. And that that just looks ridiculous. It really does. What if I fold it? Let's see. Oops, comes off. If I fold like this, maybe. Uh huh. And if we put this in back on, maybe it'll look a little better. No, it's not going to look better. <laughs> and shit. Uh, you know what? It, it's terrible. It's terrible. Don't connect these things. This just, just don't. Okay, with well, accessories aside, let's put those out of the way. Let's get the main man himself. Soundwave. And uh, the robot mode. I'm loving it. It's a uh, super awesome robot mode. Um, it's honestly, this is <coughs> uh, robot mode. That's actually how I envisioned uh, a Voyager level sound wave. Looks really good. Uh, before I get on to anything, I want to talk about the light piping in the back of his head. It is very good. It actually is very much on par with um, Shockwave. So that's really awesome. Um, it's articulation. It's just as good as the rest of them. Matter of fact, I'll get down to it. Just jump on that. Uh, the arms come out this far. Same on both sides. 360 rotation. Hands sadly don't have a weight, don't, don't have a swivel. And some hollows right there. That's classic Hasbro, sadly. But they did get a pointer finger. Just so he can rotate up here and hit his little switch here. So that's pretty cool. And speaking of that, he had to just have the inject switch. But sadly, I don't have any cassette tapes. Hopefully soon. And he has uh, a lot of good more detail inside there as well. Uh, I will, honestly, uh, another thing too. I know I'm jumping all over the place. I should stick. I should stick with uh, articulation, but you know me. I can be random at times, but um, this right here, I kind of might, 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 might have to have a certain cousin of mine, you know, maybe take a paintbrush of this and just give it kind of a, maybe an animated, uh, a, a light, a light blue, like the cartoon, just cover all this up, put a sticker back on it, but I don't know. Anyhow, uh, far back to rotation, it's rotations and swivels. His head is on the ball joint and it goes a full 360. Actually, not on ball joint, I'm lying. It's actually, there's a little swivel on there. Um, what's that called? Ah, oh, hell, let's, let's say it's a ball joint. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it rotates. I think it's a ball joint. I think I was wrong. And the waist is a full 360, as you would expect. And if you move his hip skirts out of the way. Legs do go. Legs do go full all the way up like that, and go back this far, so you get that. And open the legs fully up. You can go full trowel. That's my thing now, guys. Full trowel. Now that Van Dam is opening full trowel now. <laughs> and uh, for the uh, the thigh, the thigh swivel right here. Go full 360, which is good. Same here. Full 360 and his ankle tilt goes in that far. I wish he, I, I kind of wish his ankle could actually rock back. That's something he can't do. Is it, it only has only has articulation going sideways, not going backwards or forwards. But oh well, what you gonna do? But yeah, just have on both sides. And let's see, and back to that, um, the hollowness. Uh, it's not as bad, but it except for it doesn't have it here and here, and a little bit on the back of the legs. But it, I'm not mad at it that much. It's back here is fine. Like I said, I don't view I don't view a thing from the back, so it's all good. I I do kind of wish they had put something here, maybe like a, a covering or something if they really wanted to. But yeah, uh, also uh, to me, it's it's, not, it's actually for transformation. But I count it as being part of uh, articulation because it doesn't break the scope that much. If you move these backpack out just a little bit here and you pull, let's see, there we go. You can get a little bit of an ab crunch. Come here, it's that way. There we go, see? Got the arms, you can see it. Yeah, you get an ab crunch there. So that's, that's pretty good. And it can go back that far as well. So, yeah, I, I, I like that. I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Now, for size comparisons. Since he is a Voyager. Let's see. Let's bring in Shockwave. We 
all know is a Voyager. I don't care what Hasbro says. That is not a leader. That is a freaking Voyager. And one of my favorite Voyagers, Starscream. And I'm so looking forward to buying that mold three more times. Well, uh, at the very least one more time because I do love Thundercracker. He's my favorite seeker. But yeah. Looking pretty good together. And just for just for the sake of argument for anyone like me who collects uh Mastermind Creations or um SXS or Mate Toys, let's bring in one of those guys. Let me go over here and grab oh my little shelf here. Ah, here we go. Here we are with um K on. So we can kinda of see how that looks. Uh, as we can see, the scale's not off too bad. Yes, the Voyagers had gotten a bit smaller, but it's not too bad. I mean, I think it's, I think it's fair. So, with all that, get these guys out of the way. I should show you guys how the weapons work. And he has five millimeter ports for any of his weapons. So, I mean, they can go in literally any hole on his body. But, you know, most probably he's going to put this in his hand, so. Right here, he holds it just fine. Also, his uh, his long rifle pistol thing, he holds that just fine. Like I said before, he can put it in any 5 mm report hole. He has one here, 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 <laughs> here, and here. And I believe I hit them all. And he also for his shoulder, his shoulder gun here, which is uh, iconic for Snowwave. Uh, it kind of bumps away his backpack, so you have to untab it just a little bit, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's all right. Probably could base key a little better. But there you go. That's him with all his gear. I think it looks pretty good. With all that. All right, now. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to have to stop the camera here and get into that good old transformation. But I'll be back in the flash using my patented editing magic, as it were. So, stay tuned. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. And bam. Yeah, I know I didn't give one of those BAMs. I give a, a low weak power bam because this is what the lamp post mode is. I contemplate not even showing it, <laughs> but it is a G one is a G one reference to the first episode. He can do this, so yeah, that's lamp post mode. Let me get the camera to show it all. But that's lamp post mode. If anyone was interested, that he can do that. And um, before I go into his actual true all mode i actually forgot to do something and that was the paint apps and since this alt mode is essentially robot mode let's be honest that's what it is uh <laughs> he's mostly just uh blue plastic with uh gray unpainted plastic not much to see here except for the few the few paint apps he has like this uh his buttons here for the boombox mode that he doesn't have <laughs> and uh the gold trim here for the the set casing, which is that's really nice. I do love that. And uh he does have paint apps here for the for the uh, detail and leg gold trim here. Gold trim here. And different uh colors for the buttons here or whatever those are. Transistors maybe. So silver, gold, gold, uh reddish pink, and the bow damage, which is uh not quite so bad. It's very sparingly here. It's kind of spread throughout, so it's not quite bird shit esque. It does look more like paint rimming off. Which is, oh, okay, I guess. And a little bit here on the sides, which you'll see more in his alt mode. And, uh, and then, of course, the the, cla the crack glass, which uh, I may request a certain someone to get it more of a cartoon accurate, you know, blue coloring. But, yeah. All right. Let's get down to the real alt mode. Because <laughs> this thing, I, I get some people wanted, want, perhaps wanting him to have this. I'm not a fan of it. It just... It's because, um, no. I'm, although I'm not really even a fan of this true alt mode, but it's better than this. 
Okay, all right, guys. Be back in a flash with the real one. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. And BAM! I'll give you the real bam on that one. Because <laughs> this is actually the real the real deal alt mode. <laughs> but yeah, here here is his alt mode. Um Well I won't talk about first, because last time I just told this to get through the paint apps. Let's get to that first. Uh same thing, uh this, you can see more of the bow damage, which is uh, like a silver dry brush. And it's kind of splattered throughout. And a little bit of black paint app here and here. And pure silver here, paint apps. And I gotta say, the transformation, if any of you guys have um, Transformers Titan Return, um, Astro Train, uh, the transformation to me is reminiscent of that, how these panels fold out from here to here. So, yes, yeah, that's a thing. That's, that's a thing if you care to know. And some more um, bow damage, dry brush, and splatter throughout here. Except for it's not it's not totally bad here. It looks more like um he's just been grazed up real bad, you know his paint's coming off from no damage. And he does have more silver paint apps here in the backpack right there with a black trim. That same goes for both sides here. Now let's talk about the alt mode itself. It to me it looks to be like a I mean it's just more on a bigger bot. I would say it's more of a freighter ship. So he's made, he's made like he made deliver cargo or something. And uh, he has a, a translucent plastic cockpit right here. And on the very back here, you can still see his uh, his tape deck thing here. If you press the button, it'll, it'll still open. It just drops right right out. So yeah, he can still store his cassettes in there. And uh, hmm. As far as what I think of this thing is, it, it's it's okay. Um, I know there's, there's fan modes for a actual um, boombox, but they involve taking off his arms, and they're like a, a mushroom pig, and that's not something I'm flight knowing because those kind of pigs, mushroom pigs, uh, I've, over time they can shear, and I'm, I'm not gonna try to keep doing that. So to everyone else that wants to try the fan mode, you can I'm sure you can Google it, find online, more power to you. But I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be doing that to my figure here. Now, <clears throat> on a different note, back to his accessories, you can take his two. Uh, I won't call them his battery gun because on the MP they become batteries. So you just uh, take these ports here, take the, I mean these tabs, and plug them into the ports here and here. And you know, I'll show you now. It just goes in like this, and uh, one right high. And there you go. Oh, actually, let me turn it around. Wrong way. Actually, let me turn both of them around. Both wrong way. <laughs> oh, I guess technically it's not the wrong way to play with the thing. But according to the instructions, they're, they're going like this, I believe. Or do they? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> so you get that. I think, personally, if they're going to go for a, a, a shuttle alt mode, I kind of prefer to more of a land vehicle for a sound wave. Like uh, in IEW Comics, when they, I think it's in Phase 2, when uh, Soundwave and Galvatron go to Earth, um, he has kind of a, like an APC type alt mode. I probably prefer something like that. Just give, give him some wheels somewhere, let him roll. But for this type of alt mode, given that it looks to me like a freighter ship, um, that should be reserved for a much bigger bot than him. But, you know, that's alright. I, I, I don't love the alt mode. I really don't. But the bot mode is... Awesome. As for his other gun, however, um, I guess you can plug it in. Let's see, in a five millimeter port. Uh, does he have any more on this boat? I don't think he does. But I guess you could pop open a tape deck. Put that right there. Uh, if you can hold it in there, let's see. Oh, he does hold it in there. Awesome. Cool, cool beans. So you can put it in there. So there you go. Everything is stored, everything has a place, everything is in its place. Now for comparison, here is Shockwave, Voyager, Shockwave has bro, Voyager, Shockwave, and, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to keep saying it's a Voyager because we all know it is, and the fact that Hasbro had a gall to charge 50 bucks for it, 
Also, the fact that we paid for it because it is a good shockwave, but still, the price shouldn't have been 50 bucks. We know it, they know it. But uh, yeah, they, they look pretty good together. See, shockwave's a little longer, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, nice. I would show Starscream, but I, you know what? I just didn't want Transformer. I meant to it. I got lazy. I didn't want Transformer. I know uh, another fellow reviewer by the name of Bobby Skullface, he has a um, MP Tiger Tracks that he keeps in alt mode just for comparisons. And you know what? I see why. <laughs> I totally see why. I'm thinking about getting my own stuff. Uh, 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 maybe, I don't know, maybe Shockwave. I'll just keep him in alt mode. So every time I compare Voyager or Siege figure or something, I was like, Shh, shockwave. But nah. <laughs> cool idea, though. But yeah, as uh, far as shockwave goes, no, me, sound wave goes, uh, although I'm not a big fan of alt mode, or either of the alt modes, robot mode is, for me, uh, a strong recommend. Uh, I, say, I say find them, get them, buy them. Sadly, I couldn't find him at retail anywhere, so I had to go on Amazon. But luckily, I was able to get him at retail price. None of that uh, jacked up uh, third, not jacked up um, uh, scalper price stuff. I, I hate that, but I got him at retail. So he he was worth that, and I recommend him full heartedly. So I'll pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. And before I go, yet again, I'm sorry for the late review on this. I meant to have him out like a good while back. But I've been moving and I'm still not completely done. Matter of fact, I'll even give you guys a, a small taste of what I'm working with here. Here's my uh, my little display. Not well, the beginning of the display area. And, uh, you know, computers here. And I'm just not done unpacking all my stuff because here it is. In case you guys want to see. Yeah, a little rough there. And yeah, Voltron Force. Boxes of figures. I got a Tripicon at my feet. MK10 Scorpion. So, yeah. It's gonna... <clears throat> but eventually I will have this place tip-top shape. And I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more views. In fact, I think I got a figure coming today. He's an older one. It's a um, Mastermind Creations. Uh, I don't know his name. I don't, I'm just gonna call him Nova Prime because I don't know, know his, room, his actual name. Name. But uh, once I get him and this from him for a little bit, I'll probably throw out a review of that. Because right now things are kind of slim pickings. There's not really anything out that I really really want. Also, as most of you guys know, and I'm sure you all live in the real world and pay bills, money is also a, a concern. Though I am. Um, it's not going to stop me from buying that Death Source. Hopefully it comes out soon. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you. Uh, I got even more subscribers now. So, I'm, I'm, again, you guys are awesome. So awesome. And thanks for putting up with me when, when it takes me so long to put out these reviews. I, I know it's, it's, I suck. But I'm, I'm going to do better. But please like, share, and subscribe. I'll try to make the channel better. Do better and bigger things. And this is Solomon Noonspa, the black gentleman out here doing God's work reviewing these figures. See you guys later. Peace out.